welcome to gem chem now today's video is on group chemistry part 1 video and here we are going to deal with s and p block elements now before starting you have to understand each and every concept of periodic properties which is being discussed in bsc first year syllabus to accomplish this chapter right so in the channel already those chapters are being covered you can watch it i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video and if you are new to gem chem do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates now the first topic which we are going to deal with in group chemistry chapter is second row anomaly whenever we will see different groups and their trends then the only observation which will be common is that the second row that is second period elements will show some difference with the others as we can see that oxygen exists as o2 whereas s exists as s8 so what is the reason for this why this occurs basically what we see is that the period 2 elements are very small as a result of which their coordination number is likely to be very lower and they form totally different sets of compounds rather than their higher analogs because their coordination number is very much less very much small now next comes the second part that is secondly we can say that it has a small size as a result it can form a stable p pi p pi bond that is the p pi bonding is strong whereas in case of the higher congeners if we see then this p pi bonding that is pi bonding is not so strong because their size gets increased so they are farther apart from each other right so again the same case that is there is a totally different set of compound formation for period 2 and these compounds exhibit different physical as well as different chemical properties as compared to the other higher analog and the last thing which is important to understand why second row anomaly occurs is that we see or we know rather that the period 2 elements does not have any d orbitals right there is an absence of energetically accessible 3d as a result what we can say that they cannot expand their valence state as well as they cannot expand their coordination number so for this case it is different from the rest of their congeners so these were the three reasons why there is a second row anomaly why lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine shows difference in the properties with their respective higher analogs so this was it for today in the next video we will deal with the oxo anions of different kinds of elements like silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine so hope this was helpful thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment